Hi, this is Sandy Van Soy for Trekking the Planet. This week we're in Bamberg, Germany, and we have two special guests with us, our daughters, Lauren, who's 21, and Kristen, who's 19. Um, they came over a couple days ago from the U.S. and are traveling around Germany, but are spending a few days now with us. We haven't actually seen them for almost seven months. And we thought it'd be interesting to just sit and have a little discussion with them and film it so people could hear more about them and, and just about our trip and how travels affected them as they've been growing up. So, Lauren and Kristen, um, when we were, when we were uh, a little young, you guys were a little younger, we took you guys on a trip. You were 10 yes. and you were 12 slash 13. 13. Yeah. We called it Cosmos. It lasted four and a half months. We went to five continents. Um, and went to India for a month, Africa for a month, um, South, Australia, Southeast Asia. So, um, Lauren, we'll start with you. So, t tell how did that trip affect you, or what did you think about that trip? How, how did it affect you going forward? Um, I feel like I was a lot more confident after that trip. Mm -hmm. It taught me, um, like, I did a lot of the school stuff on my own, slash everything on my own, I think. And so, I guess it helped me for school in that way, even though it was hard to learn some of the stuff. And I think it got me interested in, like, third world countries, which is really associated with my major now. And especially with Africa, who, which I've gone back to three times since then, and want to work there as my career now. So just so for the record, what, what are you going to school? Where are you majoring? I'm going to UCLA. I'm going to be a senior. I'm majoring in international development studies. So it's basically the study of the developing world, such as Africa and India and Southeast Asia, which are places we visited on the trip. Okay. And Kristen, you were a little younger on that trip, so I think it was a little yes, harder for I you. Was. So what but how do you think that trip has sort of shaped you and in, in going forward or do you see an effect on that kind of travel? Um, even though I was so young on that trip, I feel like it still really had great impacts on my life and I still remember a lot of the things that we did. Mm -hmm. And also I think it made me just really appreciate the things that we had at home and it also set me apart from a lot of my classmates because it just gave me a greater appreciation of the world that a lot of people my age lack. So, and then you're just for the record. We're oh, um, I am a going to be a sophomore at UCI this next fall, and I'm studying um, German. Mm -hmm. German. Ger language. German studies. No, German studies. The language as well as other parts of German history and culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we took you guys a lot of places when you were little. You've both been to over thirty countries. Do you guys know how many? 32 when we go to Slovenia. Yeah, 31 when we go to Slovenia. Okay, so yeah. And so, um, and all, in six continents. Mm -hmm. And so, I think the first trip we took you guys on, I think Lauren was maybe four or five and Kristen was two. So you've pretty much grown up going overseas and traveling a lot. Is there any special trips you remember that, w that were interesting from a good or bad standpoint? Anything interesting there? Um, do you have something? Well, I remember when we went backpacking um, in Europe when we were kids, mm -hmm. and we stayed in hostels, and we carried all of our own luggage on our back. Yes. And that was the first time I'd ever been to Europe, and I feel like and one of the first countries that we went to is Germany. Yes. And I feel like that kind of just started, like, the relationship I've had with, like, the German culture and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. But also the fact that we were so young and we were traveling around walking in the rain yes. with our backpacks on our backs. Yes. Just I, I remember that very vividly to this day and I just remember that being the down to earth type traveling mm -hmm. that none of my friends have ever experienced. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's a good memory. How about you, mm -hmm. Lauren? Can you think of anything? Um I think like the cosmo like cosmos ship was the most the long important trip we took, for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like just being in Africa and India. Like mm -hmm. kind of like the same thing with like having a really kind of hard but like rewarding experience and learning a lot about people who are a lot um, less fortunate than we are mm -hmm. but like seeing how they live and like getting to know um, their culture was like like I said like one of the first steps for me and getting really interested in deciding to major in mm -hmm. learning about those countries. Okay. So how about this trip that um, dad and I are taking, Darren and I are taking um, how do you feel about that, I and mean, what was your sort of reaction when you heard about it, and when you first heard we were going to be gone for over well, a year? Well, I remember when you first told me about it, and I just remember being like, oh, well, I, I remember saying to myself, oh, I knew that this was coming, like, it, it's mm -hmm. here, finally, because after 
we went on Cosmos, I knew that that wasn't going to be, that was probably going to be the last trip that the four of us went on together, but that was definitely not the last trip that you and dad were going to do. Uh-huh. And, um, but I never expected that it was going to be this long over such a span of yeah. so many countries. But, um, I remember thinking like, oh, they're doing it to raise awareness for geography. And that's the most important thing. And when I heard that you guys were doing that, I was like, okay, this is an important trip that they have to go on. I was in full support of it. Oh, thanks. I know it's been hard for you, though, because especially yeah. your first year in college. And I, I survived. You survived, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then what about you, Lauren? Um, I was the first person to find out. So. Yes, I happened to see you before I saw Kristen. Yeah. Yes. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I knew you guys were going to do something like this eventually also, so I was just like, okay, go for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, and what about when you guys have kids, what what kind of travel experiences would you want to have with them, or do you think it's important to have that with kids? Yeah, or? definitely, and I feel like you get to know each other and the family better, too, mm -hmm. by spending time together. It doesn't have to be overseas, it could be anything, right? right? But, but I feel like, in general, I feel but, like the yeah. amount of time that we spent with each other in stressful situations, in very relaxed situations, I feel like I know you three other people better than I know anyone else, mm -hmm. and because of that, I feel like I appreciate our family more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Do you and think yeah. that brought us together then? Um, so, uh, sometimes it brought us apart, but it always brought us back together. <laughs> yes. Shared yeah. crisis. Yeah, shared crisis. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I definitely want to take my kids traveling. Mm -hmm. Maybe not to every single place we've been, but in maybe different places that we haven't even been to at all yet. Yeah. But just to show them mm -hmm. the, how the world is. Okay, great. How about for us? Do you have any questions for our for us, I know you've been following us on our, our journey. You get the newsletters like everybody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there any questions that you've been dying to ask but uh, just haven't yet? Um, well, I've wanted to know where your favorite place has been. I know that you guys say that you like every place, but after, but you guys have been gone like for half of your trip now. So what's the one or two places that have stood out so far? Um, well, we just went to Krakow and in Poland, yeah, the, in Poland, which was wonderful. And uh, kind of the criteria we've been using is that what do we want to go back to maybe for an extended period you know for a month or, or, or more and yet Krakow seemed like a real city um, it's got a lot of culture there it's a real city in the sense that yes there's a lot of tourism there but there's there's a real city that's that's right next nice to that parks, lots nice, of, lots nice of culture and lots of history mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and it's not very expensive so right. we could actually stay there for a reasonably Good price. Mm -hmm. uh, Hobart, Australia was another one. Um, Tasmania was an just, amazing place. Just all place. of Tasmania. Right, just an amazing place. Um, really beautiful city. Obviously lots to do there, lots of nature, lots of hiking, lots of neat opportunities. I think another one we really liked was in Latvia, Riga, the first place we stopped oh, yeah. at in Latvia. Really beautiful city as well. We were very pleasantly surprised. Again, a real walkable place, lots of really nice neighborhoods. So yeah, there's been several places that we really, really liked. That it makes it very pleasant surprises. Mm -hmm. What's so great about exactly. travel? I was gonna say those were places that you didn't weren't really expecting. No, we we had no idea. Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely. How about any question for us, Laura? Um yeah, like what's your or what's a place that you're really looking forward to going? Like oh, still? Coming, yeah. Oh wow. Still coming up. That's a really good question. Um, I think that um, Eastern Europe will be interesting. The rest of Eastern Europe we're going to. I think Romania, I've read a lot about. We're going to three places there. I think that'll be very, very interesting. Um, now we're going to Kenya. Um, we've just announced our itinerary change, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to be interesting as well, some place we've always wanted to go to. I think going out so far there and, and meeting some of the people culturally will be really good too. You've actually been there. Yeah. We, we haven't, so. Um, that'll be good. What about you, Darren? We have some really interesting things planned in, in uh, South America, mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to being, being in the Amazon rainforest. Mm -hmm. We're going to be more than a thousand miles up the Amazon right. up in a really river. remote place, and we're, we're just now doing the planning for that. Uh, but it's, it's exciting. It's yeah. really exciting, and I love the work that uh, they're going to be doing there, which is more uh, sustainable development within mm -hmm. the forest so that people can live in harmony within within a rainforest and not, not be cutting it down. So uh, we definitely want to support that. Okay, great. Well, I think that probably d is about wraps it up. So thanks a lot, guys, for doing this interview with us. And, yeah, no problem. And it's been great to see you. And we'll keep in touch. And thanks, everyone, for watching this. Bye. Thanks.